Cash tutorials. Hello, hello, welcome to the first uh, side chain compression tutorial. And this one is for the program uh, version of Cubase SX and it's version 3. Um, it's a great version. I know there's newer ones out on the market now. I'm quite happy. I'm, I've, I'm sort of content with the way Cubase is working for me now. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something I put together earlier on. Uh, and in a kind of electro style track, uh, using the side side chaining rules and techniques. So let's let that run. The, the, the pulsing effect, which is the side chain compression thing going on. Uh, it's a very popular sound in clubbing music. Um, it just goes very well when you're dancing to a, a gut pounding sound system and you're hearing a great, you know, a great tune at a good volume. Um, the side chain compression is a kind of a used and abused effect. It's, um, it's, it's creative. Uh, it's, it, I don't, I don't know if it was um, creative in its beginnings. It was used for other kind of, uh, kind of more boring technical stuff for studios. Um, but clever producers in the last uh, 15 years or so have been using the side chain in uh, electronic music production to get really interesting effects, and this is one of them. Okay, so uh, what do we need to do? First of all, um, in the recipe. Uh, on the tin, you would need a uh, Cubase, and uh, also you'd need a, a sidechain compressor. Uh, and the one that we'll be using in this tutorial is one called uh, the Slim Slow Slider brand, um, and they make a free compressor which you can download from the internet. And what we need to do is add one of these types of group channel. Okay, so just go for that first and explain how to do it. Project. Audio, uh, add, a, add a track, and you need to add a group channel. And from the list of group channels, there's lots of them, you need to go down that list, miss out the first list, go to the sub list, drop down menu, and choose Quadro. Once you've chosen Quadro, click OK. And then you have on these greeny blue kind of color tracks. And you need to add into the rack on the left hand side, as you can see, there's a, there's a rack of uh, effects on here, which are inserts. And the rack here, which are sending effects or auxiliaries. Okay, um, so on the insert effects, you need to put uh, the sidechain compressor. And I've taken it from the list here for SSS, which is the, the installed directory I've put there, and it's the one called sidechain compressor ST, side, uh, side CH comp ST. Okay, so that's the one you'd like. Um, and let's call that one up on the window. I'm going to close off this editor. That's the one we want, and if I solo this white track at the top here, I've painted this one white for the reasons of showing you um, that this is a separate kind of track which you don't hear. It's, it's white, it's invisible, it's a ghost track, um, and it carries the signal, or it sends the signal to the side chain inputs on my compressor. If I click play and solo, you don't hear anything. Um, like I say, it's like an invisible track, but what you do get is um, the signal going into the side chain. Okay, just gonna just go to a, a real life photograph on the internet here. That's the back of a compressor, and it's got a socket there for adding the side chain. And you simply just plug in from. Uh, you can use an equalizer, or more creatively, you can use uh, you can use the um, the sounds. Um, uh, short sounds like drum sounds to to cause interesting kind of pulsating effects in the music okay so how do we set this up we add the group channel we then add the sidechain compressor we then take uh, instruments so f11 and go for I just use the LM7 okay so that's this one here so this is my uh, my musical instrument sound, I'm using just a kick drum here. 
with a bass drum. And a 4 4 pattern. And I take the output from that sound, and it has an instrument channel here, and I call that one trigger because it triggers the compressor. And his output must be going over to this channel, which I've called the group side chain, and that is the, the quadro channel. Okay. So I go back over to uh, the trigger channel here, and from the, above the channel strip, uh, the, the fader, instead of putting it to my main sound sound output, I go down to the one I labelled group side chain. And then from there you have uh, a window. It looks like a you know a window rather than a, a panning box. It actually allows you to pan through here, through through a, a a larger window for the surround surround pane. Um, what you need with the the drum sound itself, because you're not going to hear it, you need to send it to the back of the surround panning box there, like that. So your your left goes down here, and your right goes down there, right in those two corners. Close that one off. Okay, so now this looks like a little spot, a blue spot, uh, sitting in the bottom right corner there. That's fine. That's how you need to, you need to have it. And then that's uh, that's the carrying signal or the, the the triggering signal. And then if I go, I close off the solo there, and then I go for the the main sound that I'm going to have, like the lead synth sound, which is like a bass line, uh, JX synth to the plug-in. If I solo that one. <laughs> That's the melody. So we've got the melody, but then if I also solo the trigger sound, you've got the mix of the two. You've got the mix of the triggering sound, and you've got the the, um, the mix of the uh, the string sound or the or the synthesizer sound as well. Okay, uh, and then what you need to do is uh, you need to have this synth sound, which I have um, a VST track here called JX Synth, and his output also needs to go to the group side chain here. When you click on that window for the panning, you get the same uh, surround sound panning window, and then you need to make sure that the string sound or your long sound, which you want to uh, cause the pumping effect to, is in the top front and right, uh, front left and front right um, channels of the of the uh, surround box. So that's done, and just to close this up a bit more so we can get through, through there. Um, once that's done, then you you know that your um, effect is being your 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 plug and effect for the side chain compressor has one signal going in. Uh, to the main inputs, which is the the string sound, the long sound, um, and then another sound which is invisible, which tells the compressor when to uh, to compress and then uncompress. Okay, so um, going back to the actual compression uh, effect itself, there are several settings that you'd normally find on the compressor. So threshold ratio, attack, hold, release, gain, and of course that key volume because we can listen back to the side chain keying into the uh, into the compressor. So if I hit play, you can see the effect is going there already. I've left it running. And I'm going to experiment with uh, with the effect. I'm going to experiment with the effect, see what happens. So I'm going to change the attack time. The ratio. the release. So it's more about using your ears when you do this. Um, you just find out something that you're you're happy with and you can even store the presets. You know, store the preset here and then give it a name. OK, 
Okay, and that's how you do it. Any more questions, please drop me a line on the blog. Thanks very much. You've been really listening to the Tokash. Tokash Tutorials. Rightmix.blogspot.com Tutorials.